objective because last time I moved around. Um, yeah, I have eight minutes. My name is Sebastian Bergova. I'm uh, here to talk to you today about our project, our platform. It's called Absent. And uh, I think I forgot my mood. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. I should try, yeah. Uh, so a little about ourselves. We're a team of uh, three entrepreneurs. We all have software engineering background for uh, seven years each. And we've been working as a team for three years now, running our own software company. And what drives us together and what keeps us together is our belief that a fast-growing market demand needs fast coverage. And as we think of it, what other market is growing faster at this moment than the mobile applications market? Well, the answer is none. We're witnessing a market that's going to rise from a total of 7 billion euros at the end of 2010 to a total of 22 billion dollars at the end of 2015. And a large chunk of this is the actual development of the applications. So this is a 300% increase market. And it's actually pretty easy to see because every day more and more organizations use mobile apps. For example, publishers use mobile apps to distribute and monetize their content. And a lot of businesses use apps to interact with their users and customers and gain new businesses. But there is a problem with this market. Because it's a new market and because the know-how is very limited, the entry barriers are very high, so it's difficult to get your app started with low prices. They generally cost around 4,500 euros for a small app to have it developed. And the main issue is with the time, because they are very time consuming. I've said there that um, you generally need around 30 days to get a simple app going in the market. So what we've done, uh, we've developed a solution a platform, it's named AppSend, and it's the fastest solution for building, managing, and monetizing applications. And what we've basically done is replace the actual programming and coding with a powerful interface that can be accessed by anyone, and it's deployed in the Amazon Cloud, and um, with it come a lot of tools, software tools, that help you design and manage the app. And for powerful users, for developers that know a little HTML or a little XML language, we have our own markup language that can really make the most of your applications. So, a little more about Epson. It can easily integrate with any third-party software, any data source on the internet, content feed, and the apps that you actually build are unique and relevant. And they're cross-platform. They also work on iPhone and iPad. The main fact, I mean, the selling proposal is you're going to get your development from a couple of weeks down to a couple of hours using this platform and still getting professional results. Because if we look at the competition and we'll Google build mobile app builder, you'll find a couple of answers. And um, <clears throat> what we've learned is that those services out there are just cloning machines. They use templates, you can build your app, but that app is no good. It actually sucks, you cannot use it, you cannot put your creativity to work. It's the same app replicated to more and more users. So, what we're aiming for is small organizations who need a platform to get their mobile strategy going. And what we really want to focus on are value-added resellers. Why? Because if you can make developers and agencies rich by using our platform to sell mobile solutions to their customers, they'll love us and that's it, we're good. And we're also targeting large enterprises who are in need of a complete solution to set up their mobile strategy. So, what have we done to date? We started in the beginning of May 2011 in private beta. We have 100 users signed in the platform that started over 150 apps that are currently in the making. We've converted already 7% of them into paying customers. We have 10 apps live in the App Store and we're on track for over 100,000 euros turnover by the end of this year. And we also have Mr. Peter Bartas, our advisor and partner in this project. We need 500,000 euros just to roll out this platform internationally. We're not satisfied with the results that we can get from bootstrapping it. We really want to roll it out into the US and Western Europe. Um, we need to expand it to the Android platform. We're very close to extending it to HTML5 and having compatible web apps with all platforms. 
And by the end of this year, we want to have 250 apps built on AppSend. So this is my favorite part, the showcase. Uh, for those of you who have an iPhone right now in their pocket, please go to the App Store and download the Catalyst app, which is, which is actually our test application, where you can see the work you do on the web interface. And what we've done to show you the power of the platform is build three applications. Two of them are quite famous on our market. Two really actually came out, um, I think, a couple of days ago. And what you see here is the actual development time we needed to get those apps as you see them there. And if you will compare them to the original apps, you see that there is no fundamental difference. They're just sketches, their purpose is just to demo it, so we're hoping we're not upsetting anyone. So um, that's it, thank you, and please, if you have any questions. Oh, under eight minutes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Sammy. Okay. I have sure. one question. Can you point towards an app that you you have on the App Store right now? Mm -hmm. and, you know, this is reproductions of those, but true. Yeah, uh, we have um, let's say for example, which is a news aggregator. Uh, we also have uh, several apps we built just to try out the platform um, and to see if we can generate some revenue for ourselves, which we actually can. And uh, there's one that aggregates content about BMW cars, just for fun. And it's called BMW, BMW Encyclopedia. And um, what is there else? Um, there's a cooking, uh, it's an online cooking book with videos. Uh, it's called Cooking Masters, also uh, paid. We have an app for uh, the ESC Blue Portal that just came out. And there are a couple of apps waiting to be released, around six or seven uh, in the couple of I say next 10 days. You generate code? Yes. Well, the, the way this works from a technical point of view is that we have the mobile native modules that you can configure using either the web interface, which is very accessible to anyone, regardless of their expertise, or the tech expertise. And for power users, we have this markup language very fast that you can use to build apps and configure those native modules. Yeah. So, what actually, what do you actually do? What can you build? You, uh, you are collecting information from the, the website? It's, it's, not, it's not just collecting information. That's just the, the integration part. You can integrate with any software and pull data and send data. So it's a two-way communication between our server and any third-party software. The apps you can build, it's actually um, we're aiming for your creativity to be the only limit. But for the moment, let's say this platform is great for publishers and for people who want to, to monetize their content and who own digital content, publishers and so on, and want to build uh, professional apps, so not just any app. Uh, we've added an ad server to the platform where you can run your house ads or any other ads. There are in-app purchases, and for those who are Apple uh, fans, I know you know what I'm talking about. There are in-app purchases, subscriptions, everything at the push of a button. One more question. How do you get the data? Is it passed through your servers or is it there? Yes, everything is passed through the Amazon Cloud Computing Storage. And we import the data there and then we distribute it uh, via the content distribution network worldwide. So it's very scalable. You won't have to worry if your app is really successful and has 20,000 users in the first day. It will go just fine. So it's very enterprise oriented. It's, it's a platform that works for any large company, but it's simple enough for anyone to use it. One more question, and then I'm done. Okay. Is it uh, uh, on the fly? So when the app does the request, uh, then you collect the data and send it, or do you have to? No, we import the data first from your uh, third party software, CMS, data feed, anything. And then when you request it, it's requested from the uh, server. But we can discuss those technical aspects. Later on. What about the, the roadmap for Android? I'm sorry, I'm only in. I don't know where to look. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what, what about the, the roadmap for Android and other platforms? Well, um, we're hoping to get Android done by November, but that means hiring uh, at least three developers and start working. We've been focusing on covering all iOS platforms, which include the iPad and the iPhone and the iPod Touch, and we're almost done with cross-platform web apps which will come out in the next month or so. 
For Android, we're, uh, we're targeting the uh, end of November this year. And the best part of it will be that those apps that you build in a couple of hours, you'll build them once and then deploy them on every platform. Yeah, I just said, uh, I mean, you want to see the little? Okay, go to the App Store, download Catalyst, access it, and uh, what? Uh, access Catalyst, and I'll give you uh, a unique code that you can enter in the app and see your app there. Okay. How much are you charging for the Yes. Um, for end users, for small uh, organizations, it's a monthly recurrence fee that starts from 30 euros and goes up to 100, so it's really cheap. And we're also charging a setup fee if people want their app to be built. And for bad battery sellers, it's an annual flat fee, which includes a couple of apps, depending on the needs. And it's an upfront pricing, so you won't have to charge you every month, so you can later on sell it to your clients and make a profit if you're a value-added reseller.